podcast. Uh, as always, I'm Chris, joined by Ben Barr. It's great to be here, It is, isn't it? Thanks for having us again. Pleasure. Yeah. Hello, John. How are you? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic. Any news report, gents? Well, off to a fly. Oh, I've got quite a few. No, no, I've got <laughs> Okay, um, well, same format as always, we'll run through uh, the weekend's results against Mount Hawley. Um, what was a very successful weekend for the club. Um, no spoilers, but there are a couple of wins coming up. Uh, we'll go ahead and preview uh, this weekend's round of games with the T20 as well, and with our favourite features and end games and whatnot. Yay! Yay! This is a big rock star, <laughs> but we're going to have to go over there. Um, <laughs> So last weekend saw day two of the Mad Dolly fixture, which was washed out uh, for the first week. So one day is across the board. It's day one, not day two. Yeah, it's day one of the fixture. It's day two of the fixture. No, it's day, day one, one, one fixture. round. It's day two of the fixture. What happened on day one? Washed out. Well, then it's day one then. No, it's not. It's day one was washed out. Yeah, but it's a new day fixture. two becomes yeah, it's a new fixture. No, it's a different format. You could pick a new team. Different format. Still the same fixture. Anyway, day. Whatever it was, a Mount Holly fixture. Um, round six. Round six. Yeah. Uh, no. Reverse. Sorry. Oh. That's episode six. Yeah. Maybe also round six. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Anyway, reverted back to 50 over cricket. Uh, the ones had a thrilling game. Uh, batting first, they finished nine for 208. Runs for Jake Carter again. It's only three at the top. Uh, 20s for Dan, Kennedy, and Kane. A uh, very important 10 for year partnership uh, between Desi and Charles. Uh, Going 25 runs, which uh, saw the boys finish with a bit of momentum. In reply, Matt Rawley were cruising in two for 146. Um, and we'd seen it before, hadn't we? Yeah. In the first day of the fixture that yeah, was pushed out. Yeah, so, which, day zero. The, no, not day zero. The, no, we don't know that because nothing happened. Actually, nothing yeah, counts. I don't remember anything. Anyway, you in prove, reply. You proved that was a. That, that's in what reply, uh, Matt Rawley sucked a little bit towards the end, a couple of key wickets, a few. Crucial quiet overs in the back of the innings, and the boys, well, the boys finishing one run short. Uh, fantastic last over from Jai, uh, capping off a great spell, 241 for him off his 10 overs. Uh, Kane chipping in with one for 24 off his 10. Um, very very uh, scorches by well, the Keep side. an eye on that bloke, I reckon he can play. Got a future. I reckon, he might, yeah. I reckon he might go on to bigger and better things. But um, now, I, I don't think they can get any bigger and better. Young Richardson. Richardson. <laughs> um, but yeah, defending six and last over, fantastic effort. Recommend you go and watch the, uh, watch the highlights if you haven't seen it. But uh, yeah, important win for the boys. Keep some in contention for the season. Uh, so, Johnny, what happened in the second grade game? So, uh, the twos were at Mount Wally this week after not a ball bowled previous week. So this was so this was day one of the posture. Let's not do this again. Um, and look, you can sum it up in one word. Procession. It was just, from ball one... I oh, wouldn't have used that. I, would, yeah. I was worried about which word he was going to <laughs> yeah. use. Do you know what that word means? I do know what that word means. Well, it was a procession down at Breckler Park. Um, Fremantle bowling first. I'm not actually sure who won the toss. Do you know? No. Um, we bowled Mount Wally out for a hunch, the measly 113. Um, it's a very eventful couple first over, I've heard. Zach Ferris opening the bowling, two massive leg side wides, and then the first legitimate ball out LBW. So the bloke's faced a couple and has got a golden duck next to his name on the night cricket. So that's always... Uh, Poor bloke, eh? Or JJ Frame. JJ... Oh, JJ. JJ. Yeah. Um, but to sum up the bowling innings, uh, wickets <laughs> shared again, Chowie 3 for 15 or 5, Fez 2 for 29, Tari 2 for 17 off 10, it's very economical. And then a wicket, huh? What? And then a wicket to Robbie and to Foxy. What well Ryan Fox. Ryan. Well Ryan. Good wicket. Right yeah. Um, and then in our batting, we lost a couple early with Odie and Fox departing. Um, but then uh, Jack, Jack, Jack following up last week's performance of 39 not. 
and Hutto a runner ball 62, so it's good to see him in some form, looking very promising the last few weeks, and now, now he's into it. So, uh, easy win from the boys, and, and they got down to Stevens early, so it was good. Hutto's best performance at the bat this week, in a week that he missed both training sessions, I believe. Yeah, he was sick, apparently. Which well, I think it tells you everything you need to know. It tells you anything, yeah. <laughs> so um, well, I don't know if it was batting with a mask on underneath. That was excellent, just twice as long as he ever even before. Well done, Jordy. Um, threes. 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 Threes did well. Um, what lost the toss, got sent in <laughs> on a f big flatty. Oh, <laughs> boy, oh boy. Um, um, they will, they will runs the wall. Uh, 257 we ended up on, um, Buller 74, Mr. 360 as we call him now, it just runs, the wagon wheel was just... Now, we can talk about this innings, I don't, mind, I don't mind spending time on this innings because it, it warrants discussion, but I was lucky enough, fortunate enough to, to watch that. Well you think my hat's in the A grade ring now, do you? No, um, because you were bold. Yes. Off free hair. It's free hit though. You were caught off a no ball. You see, he, he, heard, no he ball. heard the call. I don't believe he this for a second. Was but like, you chipped one back to the bowler. Yeah, because you heard the call of no ball. It's a no ball. I was, like, oh, I was already through it. I was, I was just trying to get him back to the bowler to face the free hit. I didn't want and, to single. And did you? You also faced how many free hits? Three. three. You what turned down a single. Turned down a single on the first hit. one. Am I right in thinking that you had the net total of your first two free hits was one by? Yes. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. I can say that. I am right there. The third one, I hit him into the bloody um, bushes. Well, that massive 45 inch boundary. The biggest boundary you make a group. <laughs> so. But what bad, Sean? Unfortunately. Uh, well, from return to form. Unfortunately, there were a few runs from Buller. Um, Bernie also chipped in with 57. And oh, that's coming out soon for that. And, and Caleb Smith with 47 as well. Um, and the bowling, bowling wise, um, you'd have to say the pick of the bowlers were those that didn't get a bowl. Because um, <laughs> that's, that's fair enough. Bowl poop. Um, it was a batsman's day and we, they ended up on 220. Just fizzled out, weren't really a chance towards the end, but they batted their overs for 220. And um, yeah, not a, not a day for the bowlers. But uh, it, know, was it was a nice, pretty nice. Uh, wicket though, wasn't it? Like, yeah, I wouldn't. Wasn't friendly. I wouldn't. Bowlers. I mean, the toss and bowl. No. It was the weirdest thing. I rocked up about halfway through the innings, second innings, and saw the scorecard. The game was dead. And watched the game and just saw you both taking an absolute pasting. And if I like, if I didn't know what the score was. It looked like you guys were getting absolutely hammered. Mm. And you want easy. It felt like we were going for seven and over. We, we just had two. Four. They always, they were always mm. one. Yeah. Bizarre. Um, and in the fours. Down in the mighty fours, uh, 208 was set by our boys with McPhee returning from injury, hitting 68. Well done, Maxi. Um, and then bowled him out. I didn't write the score down that we bowled him out for, um, but McDowell took six for 22 in a big six for 26 in a in a big win. I'm sure they bowled him out for less than 208. I think so. Because we won. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're keeping track at home, which I'm sure you are. That is four wins out of four. So, fantastic well, no. effort. Well, not me, I well, literally did nothing. Well, that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Um, something special now, we won four from four. We need to do something. I think, yeah. I think what it is. I think we get uh, maybe one like, pizzas or something. Yeah. Yeah, look that, to that sounds familiar. Take it out the till. <laughs> okay. Can't read your writing. Do you not? No. I'll whisper to you. I can't. It's not what it says. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, congratulations obviously all the boys in 404. It doesn't happen very often, so great achievement. Um, I don't actually know whether I put this on the club championship. I haven't been trying to look. Uh, well, we were fourth before that round, so I'm assuming high. Yeah, jump up. I think the one's obviously just outside the six. Two's the juggernaut continues sitting, sitting top of the ladder. Two's, three's both top. Yeah. And four's a fourth, I think. So 
all the boys sitting very nicely at uh, heading yeah, next round. Premierships aren't won in September no. in cricket. It's November. Don't you forget it. It's November. Yeah, but the saying still stands. Anyway, <laughs> on that. Um, now, we did run a competition last week for Campbell's redemption figures. After six oh, for in the first game oh. in week zero, or whatever it was. You nearly got dinged out as well. Yeah, yeah, the, the, second the, over. Oh, yeah. Thompson moment there. But unfortunately, Campbell's return wasn't quite as glorious. Finishing with one for 56, um, which means the winner of this week's competition, uh, trawling through all the entries, is actually me. So, no, I, no, I, I won and I didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, you, you don't get it if you win. Yeah, what? that's true. Jordan, I won the first round and you get it. Jordan, well, actually, the first one you gave it to Chris. The competition <laughs> states either a stubby holder or a signed picture of me. So, I'm going to take the signed picture. No, but you because you got to be jumping up. Was one pouring champagne in your mum's mouth. Get it later. That's not strictly what that photo is, just, <laughs> just to clarify. Because, yeah, that's. That's a very different Let's, one, It doesn't matter, you can't win. That's the rules. You can't win. Yeah, right. We'll find second later. No, I can, go, I can find it quite easily. I think all, it's... On a, over all social media yeah. platforms? Yeah, it's Chow. Chowie. Yeah, well, Friend, Chow. Of Friend of the show. Friend of the show, actually. Yeah. Another former guest who... Or well, another feature, first feature person who's having an outstanding year by winning himself a stubby holder. Also. Cool, so, well done, Chowie. Um, no, I didn't actually write down a competition for this week, but we will give away another stubby holder because... No one really knows we're doing it at the moment, so you just keep doing Guess it. my fears. <laughs> you're not going to bowl. You're not going to bowl. Yeah. You're not playing. Guess how many beers. <laughs> <laughs> um, what should we do? We should... How about we do Maxi's runs? Because yeah. no one knows where he's playing. Yeah, that's a fair point. Could be in any... It literally could be one of, one of three sides. What about... The combined total, so cool. the combined total of all of our batting innings on the weekend could be four, could be zero. Okay, could right. be four games, could okay. be zero games. All right. So this week's competition. <laughs> it's a most teams bowl. Convoluted <laughs> zero. Someone gets zero, they get a stubby <laughs> holder. <laughs> the most ridiculous game that's ever been invented. That's a good one. This is so. So how many that's runs? Cool how many idea. runs will? Three man, three man or four grades score, score this weekend if they all bowl as a club. Yeah. Senior, and, senior, cricket. senior cricket added together. Yeah. Added, so you add them, sum them. Yeah. <laughs> Stick your answer in on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I'm whatever. Good one. This yeah. could be one of anything. I'm just, yeah. You're going to open the field up here. Are we going to have a provisional guess amongst us? Uh, no, I want to think about it. Okay. The law of averages say that. Two out of the four teams were bad. <laughs> so, and we're in pretty good batting form at the moment, so I would probably <laughs> say 200 plus for both teams. Jordan. I don't so, know if that's in the law of average. Jordan. <laughs> I think I said, I can't remember who I said this to last night. You're a smart man, <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're an accountant, but you say some of the stupidest stuff. <laughs> for a smart guy, you say Pro some. Programs do most of it. Right. Chuck it in next time. Chuck it in. 420. Put your guesses in. Sucks. So, chuck your guesses into the comments. Uh, stubby holder or a signed photo for the winner. I keep going until someone picks a signed photo. Um, now, the tipping comp uh, last week saw a very close. I've been hanging out to see who won. Very close uh, result. We did have a winner. The winner picked 7 out of 8. So nearly the perfect round, and the winner was Mr. Gaffney. Yes, I just won the deal wrong. He I got Perth Scarborough, wrong. which is the one we all got wrong, actually. Uh, we all picked Perth, we all picked Perth and Scarborough. How many did I get? You got six, I got six. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. just chalking them up now, I'm up to yeah. three. One, yeah. No, no you have not. Um, Alright, so, so we're both to the fourth grade Timmy for this week. Yeah. What games have we got? Yeah. Feature round, so we get team that we played. Team so played last, so Mount Lawley. So we have Gosnells versus Mount Lawley. <laughs> Tough one. At the Snake Pit. Mm. I'm going to go Gosnells at home then. Yeah, with two snake bites throughout the two weeks. 
Peter writes. What? You're English, right? Yes. You know what a snake bite is? Yes, I do. Half uh, half side, half line. Yeah, yeah. With, isn't it with um, you shot sometimes with a shot black you shot sometimes. Isn't yeah. black car and then shot of vodka on top as well? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure this is entirely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the girl told me about alcohol thing again, obviously. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, um, okay, so we had two rules. <laughs> <laughs> we were always going to break it. <laughs> And because Maury's not here today, we can't, we can't uh, stop yes. us. We're, we've gone rogue. We've gone rogue, we are, yeah. Yes. We um, do need to be super biased, don't we? We do. We do. Um, so, or was there Gosnells around the board then, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it's just a game of choice, though. Um, of it's not hard. Game. No, it's, it's what game, game, game of choice. Yeah, it's, Blockbuster. It's, game of choice. It's your choice. And so I, I don't know where they are on the ladder, but I think we've picked either like these teams have been involved in this. Just yeah. I'm gonna spread the love and get them out. Get so it out. Come get on, it out. Later we go out. South Perth Good. versus Subi Florian. <laughs> at I'll let you two go South first. Perth. I'll let you two go first. We do because you know who we're playing at anyway. I'm, um, so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go Subi Echo. At whereabouts? South Perth. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go uh, a Subi as well. I'm going to go my Sky Blues, baby. Let's go my South Perth. What are they? Sky Blues. That's their mascot. Yeah. Well, it's not so, mascot. so if you had like a mascot, it would just be like a cloud. A blue. Yeah. Big cloud. No, well, they'd be the, the South Perth clouds then, wouldn't they? I think they were going to be the sharks we were talking about at some point. South Perth clouds would be cool. You don't see many teams called the clouds. I think for very good reason. No. Oh, that'd be good. I might, um, I might look into that. Well, I'll tell you what, next, because next time we're on the, on the show will be for the South Perth round, so... The clouds. Feel free to... Yeah, I'll push it. ...is around. Yeah, I'm really looking it. forward to um, So, all the rest of our tips, obviously, will be going across the bottom of the screen. Um, tiebreaker. Wide's in... Wide's in fourth grade. Our fourth grade game. Yep. I'm going to go for... Do you know what? I'm going to go for... Two-day cricket. Two-day cricket. Both innings? Both innings? Yes. I'm going to go for six. All four innings if applicable. Yeah, both days. I'm going to go for six. I'm going to low ball it this week. I'm going to go 13. I'm going to go for 14. Second week out. Closest without going on? Yeah, exactly. Price <laughs> is right. Um, so that means we want to have two. Um, one of our favourite segments, and a segment that has this is changed the careers of some lower grade cricketers this I season. Sure has. I swear they're doing it. I mean, it's because. unbelievable. The, the number of people we mentioned in this segment that have, are having the seasons of their life that are just incredible. Um, but it is, of course. There's every chance there's going to be a few more boys that <laughs> some rippers this week. There's every chance. Yeah. We've got so some pearlers. It's the Doug Stewart lower grade hero of the week. Uh, I'll throw it over to Belmont. So, um, starting us off, he got a vote last week, um, but one vote goes to Tari because he's still leading the force by one for the car. <laughs> 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 well, uh, average, aggregate, or? Uh, aggregate and average. <laughs> he's tied on aggregate, but ahead on average. <laughs> what is his average? Oh. Oh, two spells. Oh. He's got two spells. Got two spells. Is he going to get a vote every week until someone until leaves someone him? goes above him? Well, he's tied on aggregate, so you'd think someone might catch him soon. So he's he's making hay while the sun shines <laughs> in the in the Doug Stewart award. Um, number two, we got some mail for this one. Um, we heard in the Mount Bawley fourth grade game, so we obviously weren't there. So we've just been told this uh, story secondhand. So I'll try and do it a bit of justice here. Um, so, there was only one umpire, so the Mount Woolley team had to provide a square leg. So, um, one of their fellas has been run out. Apparently, he was home comfortably, <laughs> but their square legger has given him out. <laughs> and that has just, that was the, the powder keg. 
Um, that was the, the Franz Ferdinand assassination starting World War I. Um, that absolutely set off a chain of events. <laughs> um, he's proceeded to walk off the field, blown up as you would, at your mate, the, well maybe not his mate, <laughs> um, and then he's got to the boundary and kicked his helmet, oh so, sorry, he's, he's tossed his bat first, off goes the bat, don't need that anymore, and then he's, he's kicked his helmet, I've heard 40 metres. <laughs> Absolutely laid the slip it. Um, and the uh, all the twos boys, our twos boys were batting at the stage. Um, and I don't know if you've played at Mount Lawley before on the second ground, but it's quite a long walk off. It's quite a long walk off to get to the uh, get to the change room. So um, our our two boys uh, have been watch watching this transpire. They've all said to each other now, don't, this bloke's feeling a bit, don't say anything, let him go into his rooms. An old scene fox. <laughs> Quietest bloke at the club has just piped, almost whispered, get a good one, mate. <laughs> just as he was within earshot. So to that poor bloke that's probably got to buy a new helmet and maybe get a foot x-ray as well, two votes. Um, um, I mean, won't name a shame. But we've just looked at the scorecard, and it was their opener. He was run out for naught. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a tough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. Then you stick in the dirt. Maybe the um, square leg at like tail end just wanted to make sure he got a hit that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, And then, of course, three votes. How can we go past a bloke in the Mount Woolley threes? I, now, now, I, said, I couldn't Mount, believe what I saw. Mount Lawley are the, the hawks, aren't they? That's their, yeah. like, South Perth of the clouds, Mount Lawley <laughs> hawks. Um, so this fella um, has taken this and rolled with it and he filled it in a Hawthorne hat. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just an <laughs> AFL Hawthorne <laughs> hat. And it's brilliant. Oh. <laughs> It was perfect. Um, but no, they were they were a great great fun team to play as well. So I'm sure they won't mind uh, <laughs> there for the uh, three votes for the uh, for the Hawthorne hat. Um, and he wasn't happy both weeks that he got given out as well. Yeah. <laughs> he got run out, didn't he? He got run out. Yeah. He was out. Though. Yeah. Or is more unhappy at his mate? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Didn't bat in a Hawthorne helmet though, which would have been good. <laughs> that would be easy. Good. Um, so anyway, yeah, they're the one, two, threes for this week. Good week. Good week. Very good, good week. For that one. And as always, if you see anything that Get happens, let us know. Get them in. We love sharing the stories from the lower grades. So love it. Awesome, fellas. Um, we're just about coming to the end of the show this week. Um, this weekend is round seven. We take on Perth. Always a strong club historically. Uh, so a good challenge for the boys coming up. That's obviously Saturday with the ones and threes here at Stevens, the twos at uh, Fords at Fletcher. Sunday, see the sun. What? The yeah. Ones and threes are at home last game. Yeah, same again. Back to back, baby. Yeah. Hey. Um, Perth would have been a home game for me. Good, good place to play pretty Perth, I like yeah. Fletcher. Um, Sunday is the big local derby against Melville in the T20. Here at Stevens again, so plenty of cricket at the home of cricket this, uh, this weekend. Colts in the morning, A grade in the afternoon. Not confirmed yet, but uh, rumour is there's quite a few of the state boys will be available this weekend. So, great chance to head on down. Um, let's talk about possible <coughs> commentary as, stints. As I said before, keep your eye on young Richardson. Richard. Uh, Richard J. Richardson. Okay. I reckon he'll go all right. What's the J stand for? J. J. <laughs> So yeah, come on down. Uh, I think me and Bob might, <coughs> might be on the barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <might> be <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> um, so yeah, come on down. The other from Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> Works in a pizza place in Adelaide. He's had to come over to hide out. <laughs> 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 Um, anyway, gents, anything else we want to add before you before you wrap up? Uh, 
Uh, well, as always, we well, finish treatment. Oh, yeah, joke of the day. Literally, I was about to say oh, well, you're come As off. always, we finish in the same way, and that's uh, with... It's post-production where we cut you off. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> and apologise. I need to clear my throat for this one. What have you got, Jordan? What was last week's joke? That uh, was a uh, whole lot. Harry Potter one. Harry Potter. Hagrid. Harry Potter. Which one was that? Uh, the Harry Dobby one. Dobby. A Dobby. Oh, right. PDF. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to go back and rewatch it to get the experience again. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Oh, we live the moment. Mm. I'm in. So I'm back in a, in a fantasy world again with my joke this week. But we're not going Harry Potter this time. We're going down the Star Wars path. Now, I think a couple of you, I think it's a couple, well, both of you may have heard this one. So this is, <clears throat> this is more for the viewers. All three of them. Tonight. Um, <laughs> okay, I have to watch them more than three times. <laughs> but no, okay, so. What did Master Yoda say the first time he saw himself on a 4K TV? I love my old man. HDMI! <laughs> Don't you do the voice? He did the voice. He did the voice. <laughs> oh! HDMI! <laughs> 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 do I need to go again? <laughs> <laughs> the old feisty one. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I'm not proud to say this. I did actually use that joke in our office joke thing in the morning once. Didn't go down well. Anyway. That's good effort, Jordan. Thanks. Right. Yeah, that yeah. Cool. I always, always enjoy right. your impressions. And it's with that lead balloon, uh, <laughs> it's time to wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate that. Uh, guess, or we'll put, uh, sorry, stick all your guesses in the comments for the competition for this week. Good comment. I reckon that's a really strong <laughs> Could be Should anything. Be a, Could be Should anything. be a big day on Sunday too. So, mm. so come on down. Fun. Uh, watch some T20 cricket. It should be great fun against local rivals. Buy a so, sausage off, Jordan. Um, just quickly. Do you like the medium rare? Just, it's something that did strike me. If South Perth of the Crowns, because that's our mascot, what's our mascot? Like literally a port. A port? Yeah. A tugboat. Like, yeah, tugboat or a, yeah. um, an anchor. An anchor as well. Yeah, it's like the dockers. Yeah. Um, or a, like. A bottle of port. Um, you can't talk about that. No. Maybe a, a ship's steering wheel. You know, like the oh, yeah. steering wheels, just wow. one that spins. Or just like a, like, looking at a photo of like the uh, beach and Nisha, like just like the port, the docks there. Yeah, you could get like some of those like... <laughs> Dressed up as beach shed. Dressed up as the beach shed. We could be like those, all those sheds together. Uh, yeah, we, yeah. You could have like three mascots like beach shed, sea shed, and tea shed. <laughs> just dressed up as a shed. I'm going to finish this very quickly. <laughs> thank you. It's gonna, thank you very much for watching. It's going to be the port versus the clouds, isn't it? <laughs> Bichet versus the clouds. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.